I'm Phil, co-founder of Cybersecurity Hub and AttackForge. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use AttackForge to improve your chances of landing a job as a penetration tester. Penetration testing is a combination of methodology, technique, determination and communication. During my time, I've worked with some amazing penetration testers who have technique and determination by the truckload. However, if you can't convince the client or stakeholders that the vulnerability you've discovered is important and that they should care about fixing it, it's almost like you didn't discover it at all. This is why reporting is important and the way you report the findings and your use of language is a critical component of a penetration test. AttackForge can help you to demonstrate to your future employer that you are not only a good pen tester, but can also be a good consultant. By using AttackForge, you can create a portfolio of projects that highlights your technical ability and communication skills. And I'm going to show you how. First, you should familiarize yourself with practical labs, which prove to your employer you have the technical skills required. Good ones are Hack the Box, Pentester Lab, and also resources from OWASP, such as WebGoat. You should treat each exercise as a formal pen test. This means creating a project and adding the findings, the same way you would once you start your career as a pen tester. If you haven't already done so, make sure to register an account on attackforge.com. It's free to register. Once you log into AttackForge, you can create a project by clicking on the Projects menu button, then selecting Create New Project. As an example, let's pretend we're doing a pen test on WebGoat. Start by adding an appropriate title. For example, ClientX WebGoat Application Pen Test. Next, you can enter a project code. Let's just use 001. Doesn't matter what you enter. It's just for your reference only. After that, I'm going to enter the start and end date. Remember, pen testing is a time boxed activity. That means there's always going to be a predefined test window that's already been agreed to with the client. Let's say we have one week to test this application. Starting next week. Next, we're gonna add the scope. Make sure you enter the scope or specific details for what exactly is being tested. In this case, let's say it's localhost on port 8080, which is the default URL for WebGoat. The next part is important. We're gonna tell the client how we're going to test the application and the benchmark that will be used. AttackForge comes preloaded with industry benchmarks to make this easy. For this example, let's select the web application pen test test suite. This will automatically load appropriate test cases from OWASP application security verification standard. After I click submit, I can then access the project from the projects menu. Once I'm on the project, we're ready to start. The first thing to do is to ensure that all details required for pen testing are uploaded to the workspace. During a real pen test, the client may need to provide you with test credentials, solution documents, application binaries, postman collections, whistles and waddles for API testing, etc. For this example, let's just include a guest account. Back on the project, we now know exactly what we're going to test, which is our scope. Okay. 
what we need to test it, which is our workspace, and how we're going to test it, which is our test cases. But before we start testing, it's common practice to tell the client that we've started. By clicking on this button, this will automatically send an email to everyone on the project to let them know that you've now started testing. It's also good practice to do this at the end of each day when you finish testing by using this button. So let's start working through test cases. Remember that these were loaded when the selected web application test suite was selected during project creation. This is your methodology. This demonstrates to your client and to your future employer that you are competent in being able to test for all requirements which are considered normal practice in the industry. As you test, make sure to mark off each test case. Like so. So let's presume we've now discovered our first vulnerability. Let's raise it so the client and your potential future employer can see it. You can do this by clicking on Add Vulnerability from the project menu. Let's presume we've just discovered an insecure file upload, which allows us to upload a shell to the web server. So we're going to search the pre-built library for file upload. This library contains over a thousand vulnerability definitions which you can use. But in this case, we're going to select no restrictions on file upload extension, as this most closely relates to the issue. As you can see, it's pre-populated information which has been derived from CWE and CAPEC which are two of the largest and best vulnerability databases which are publicly available. Most of the writings have already been peer reviewed and they're accepted vulnerability definitions. This means it doesn't matter how good or bad your English is or your technical writing skills, Attack Forge takes care of it for you. Of course, you can also add your own issues to the library using the vulnerability library module. However, don't, you don't have to worry that if your vulnerabilities are going to be visible to anyone else, it's only just for you. Next, let's add the affected target. In this case, we'll select the application. Next, we add some context about this vulnerability. For likelihood, I'm going to pick seven because it was a pre-authenticated vulnerability on a publicly accessible page. You use your best judgment. I'm also going to select a medium because so far I've been able to upload the shell, but I haven't really been able to do much with it. Next, we add the proof of concept or the steps to reproduce. This is crucial as it tells the developers exactly what you did so they can reproduce the finding so they can understand it and fix it. Next, you can add some notes. For example, let's mention that there were multiple public pages which allowed for file upload and then include the URLs. Now the tags have already been pre-populated for us. However, we can add more if required. You can also optionally link the test case you were performing when you found the vulnerability this helps to demonstrate to your future employer the end-to-end -end process of how you found the vulnerability to help strengthen your case.
After I click save, the vulnerability is now entered into the system. You should upload evidence to support your vulnerability, such as screenshots from your tools. However, you can do this later if you don't have it all right now. Back on the project, you can see that the vulnerabilities are now raised. And your client and future employer can see the details immediately. So now we're going to go back to the test cases and continue testing. And let's pretend we just found another vulnerability. So we're going to add that. In this case, let's pretend we found path traversal. So we're going to go through the same sequence to add this vulnerability. But for brevity, I'll do it quickly. Now we have two vulnerabilities registered in the system. And if you really want to impress your future employer and show them that you have a strong technical ability and deep level of understanding, let's show them how we can chain these two vulnerabilities together. We can do that using attack chains. Let's add an attack chain. An attack chain is a way to help non-security or technical people or non-technical people better understand the issues you have found and also how linking them together can become much worse than considering them individually. In this case we're going to demonstrate that an attacker can compromise the web server and start attacking the internal network with just these two vulnerabilities. We start by adding the attacker. In this case it's an external attacker. Next, we add an action, for example, enumerate application functionality. Next, we add the file upload vulnerability. We can mention that the attacker identified the file upload and was able to upload their shell. Next, we're going to add another action. In this case, we're going to say where the attacker is conducting further fingerprinting and inspection of errors which were returned by the server. This then led to the next vulnerability which was our relative path traversal. And combining these two vulnerabilities, we're now able to upload a shell onto the remote server, which we can then issue uh, commands to that operating system, uh, which we can then look to perhaps get local admin 
privileges on that server to then start pivoting to towards the internal network and do a whole host of other types of attacks. If we want to, we can continue adding to the attack chain to demonstrate just what's possible through these two vulnerabilities. It'll help to elevate the importance of these two findings by putting them together in an attack chain. So after you've gone through and marked off all your test cases and added all your vulnerabilities and attack chains, you can then give access to your recruiter, potential employer, or anybody else you'd like to show off your skills to. You can do this by clicking on Manage Access from the project menu. Then by selecting Grant Access. If you type the email address of the person here, They'll, be, they'll receive an email invitation which will contain some further details on how they can access your project. Just make sure you have their permission first before you provide them with access. We can also leave it as view access because they only need to see the findings. Once they can access your project, they can then download the report. As an example, let's download a PDF report. So this PDF report is aligned with all the standard information which is presented during a typical consulting engagement for a penetration test. This will ensure you're already meeting the expected level of reporting that's required on the job. And the best part is AttackForge does it all for you. As you can see, all the information on the findings is included in this report. So there you have it. You can use AttackForge to build a portfolio of different pen tests. For example, web application, infrastructure, mobile, wireless, etc. And then give access to the people who require access to demonstrate that you are now ready to start your career as a professional pen tester. I hope this video will help you land your first job. And if it does, please let us know at info at attackforge.com. Thank you for listening and please subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.